Good morning guys! Hello, what's up? It's Toba. I hope y'all are doing well today. If you're new to this channel, my name is Toba. I run a clothing brand called Reborn Club and my whole channel is filled with entrepreneurship, packing orders, wellness, lifestyle, day in the life, all that fun stuff. So if you're into that, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Anyways, today is Monday, January 16th and we're gonna get ready for the day. We have a day in the life ahead of us and I just want to take you along throughout the whole day. So let's start getting ready. So I actually had a bit of a party last night and this whole morning kind of got all messed up. I also slept in a little bit, so it's currently past nine o'clock and I just feel like I'm so behind on everything I have to do already today. On our to-do list today, we have to answer emails. I have a couple of customer service emails. I also have to finalize and confirm a design that my manufacturer sent me samples for. Just double check everything with that. And then I also got a couple of orders that I have to package and I think I'm also gonna try and go to the post office today. So that'll also take up a chunk of time. I just had one of my YouTube videos go live and I love reading all of the comments and I love going on the like, what is it, like the live chat when my video premieres. I love talking to you guys on there, it's so much fun. I'm currently in the works of a brand new collection. Something that I, I always say this, like oh it's something I haven't done before, but it actually isn't really something that I've done before because it's kind of like a DTG, which is direct to garment transfer, which I don't normally do. I will either do like embroidery or screen print. So I'm really excited about it, but it's definitely a learning curve because I don't know how to format my designs properly. I was just actually on call with my manufacturer because he was just like, I don't know who did the designs, but it looks like shit. And I was like, ouch, that was me. I made the designs. And he was like, I don't know what program you're using, but it's so blurry. And I just, I don't know. I never used to have this issue with screen print, but this is like an actual graphic that I designed. So yeah, it was a little hit to my ego. I was like, okay, I guess I'm not that good at designing as I thought I was. One of my biggest goals for 2023 is to really grow this YouTube channel. I literally I want nothing more than to get one of those plaques in the mail that say like congratulations you've hit like 100,000 subscribers. That is literally my dream, my goal and I really want to make that a reality. So if there's any videos that you guys want to see or anything you guys think will help me get there, please let me know. <laughs> I would love to create more videos that you guys want to see so then you guys will actually watch it. Quick pause in the video because I am so excited to tell you about today's sponsor which is Skillshare. As you guys know, I am a huge believer in learning how to do things yourself. I'm a huge believer in always expanding your mind, expanding your horizons, and expanding your knowledge. As a small business owner, it's so important for me to learn how to do things if I want to create a smaller budget for my business. This includes learning how to effectively market my items, design my items, learning how to edit content, create content. I'm constantly learning as an entrepreneur how to become better. They have so many different classes teaching you how to be your own freelancer, how to be an entrepreneur, how to start a business, how to create meaningful content and stories for social media, and so much more. Skillshare is literally great if you're trying to be your own boss, trying to expand on your creative skills, and also amazing if you're someone like me and you always just want to learn something new. I'm going to show you all an example of my dashboard and some of my favorite classes. So as you can see here, this is what my platform looks like. This is one of the threads that I was following, which was marketing your brand or business with video. There were so many helpful tips in this section, and people really take the time to talk things through. There's so many that I haven't even discovered yet, and I cannot wait to watch all of these videos. As you guys can see, I finished one of them and it's so rewarding when you finish a class and not to mention it's so easy to finish a class because all the creators and teachers are just so passionate about what they're talking about. Another really cool one that I think relates to me as a business is starting a business and refining your branding. This shared a lot of special tips and I haven't even touched the iceberg with this section yet. This is what the template of a class looks like. It's really easy to follow along and some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, so you can choose up to your preferences what you'd like. This is what my homepage looks like on my Skillshare account. You can save any of the classes that you'd like and there's so much to explore and discover. Hope that you guys are just as obsessed with Skillshare as I am because if so, I have a special treat for you. The next thousand people to use the link in my description box will get Skillshare completely for free for one whole month. Once again, you can use the link in my description box to check it out. My favorite thing to do on Mondays is to make my schedule for the week. I use Notion for this. It's just like my little weekly agenda template. Let's start off with making your to-do list for today.
One thing I really want to start drinking this new year is more matcha. I was never a matcha girl. My go-to Starbucks order for matcha would be like the iced vanilla matcha tea latte. And I bought matcha, matcha. <laughs> that word sounds so silly right now. But I bought this from Amazon. I made it a couple days ago. I'll show you how it turned out. Basically, it freaking exploded all over my kitchen table. But I'm ready to try it again and I'm ready to try and not make the same mistakes I made last time. So let's try and make an iced matcha tea latte, shall we? Okay, first things first, I'm gonna put in like a tablespoon or two of matcha. We'll do like one heaping tablespoon. I have boiled water here, so we're just gonna put in like a little bit of water. I think that's good. And now we're gonna shake it. I don't have a whisker thing, like the bamboo whisk, whatever it is, I don't have that. So we are doing it the next way that people tell you to do it, which is shaking it. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in a frother and froth it with milk and see how that turns out. Cold froth this. Okay, I'm pretty scared, but here's the moment of truth. That looks pretty well blended. I'm gonna put some cream in this. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Wait, that's actually good. <laughs> I'm so happy I decided to try this again in a different way because this actually turned out really, really yummy. So there you go. If you don't have like a bamboo whisker thing, just shake your cup. Put it into a frother or a handheld frother and you're good to go. That actually tasted astronomically better than the first time I made it, which was just, I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm gonna enjoy this while I package some orders. This order is for Avery. Avery got a This Moment Black Sip Up in size medium. Next order is for Georgia. Georgia got an extra, extra large grateful for you brown hoodie. Next order is for Aileen. Aileen got a grateful for you extra large forest green hoodie. Order is for Megan. Megan got a medium grip for you tan hoodie. Last order we're gonna package up is for Taylor. Taylor got two medium forest green grateful for you hoodies. This is a local pickup order. I have no clue why I did this, <laughs> but I did like lowercase capital. Why did I do a capital R? Taylor, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for giving you a capital R. It's been some time since I actually did like a proper inventory check. So I'm gonna just make sure that all my inventory checks out with the inventory I have on the website. <laughs> Next on the to-do list, I'm gonna make some TikToks. So the type of video I'm doing, I wanted to do like unbox my new journal with me, but I wanted to do it like I just picked up my package from outside and I'm like actually unboxing it with you guys, which I've done in the past and it's gotten a couple hundred thousand views. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. So for this, I'm just gonna make a mock order with my journal and this box and a thank you card and a sticker. I won't like seal it with tape because I obviously don't wanna actually like waste materials. Okay, now we're gonna fake putting the package outside. And we are going to make a TikTok now. Okay, that was part one. <laughs> K, 
Okay, now I have to get my actual journal that I've opened so I don't ruin this journal. The RD. I've grabbed Matthew's version of his journal. Okay, now I edit it. We are en route to go to Indigo and Chit Chats to go drop off packages. And the only way I can get him to go to Chit Chats with me is if we go to Indigo as well. I mean, that's so funny right now that's happening. Matthew and I got engaged over a year ago. And just for fun, I just wanted to post like a little carousel thing of our engagement story because it was really romantic. And it's blowing up now. So our engagement story is at over 200,000 views on my TikTok, which is fun. And he's getting all the ego boosting for it. It feels a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, because it's like it's an your personal thing. It's like personal, but yeah. We're back at home, clearly, and I'm going to do a little bit more work. It's currently five o'clock, so I should probably stop working in a little bit, but I did want to do one last thing today, and that is checking on my ad. One of my goals for 2023 was to start doing paid advertisement. I've seen a lot of success in a lot of brands, and it's taken them from here to here. I just feel like I need that. I feel like my organic reach is slowing down, honestly, and I really want to spice things up. So on the weekend, I did this huge tutorial and learned Facebook ads, which is honestly so much harder than I thought it was. I used to do Facebook ads and Instagram Instagram ad in a very basic way. It just says like promote your post and I would just promote it like there. Little did I know that there is so much beneath the surface and I don't know what the big difference is. I really don't. All I know is that everybody who does ads like does it this way. I'm gonna, gonna show you guys like the portal in my Facebook ad business manager side. I'm gonna explain to you what I'm doing and what my game plan with the ads is gonna be. So this is what my ads look like. I've literally been running it for three days but since it got accepted I think it's really only been two days. So, so far I've spent $13.69 and I'm on a $5 a day budget, which is what I want to start out at until I feel like I'm comfortable with the way that my ads are going. Yes, this is my impressions and reach so far. And then I have all the specs over here that tell me the cost per outbound click, cost per content view, cost per add to cart, cost per checkout initiated, then um, purchases, the conversion value, cost per purchase. I do feel like it's working because I've had a lot of store visits today. Like usually, on a slow day I'll get 180 to 200 sessions on my store but today I've had 400 and that's irregular because I don't have like a TikTok that's blowing up I don't really have anything that would give my store that many views the only thing I had was a YouTube video that came out today which could have aided in having so many people come to my store but I really do think it's the ads and I'll show you what ad I have up right now and I'm going to do one more ad right now but it's going to be a video because right now I just have a picture ad under the five dollar a day budget apparently you can put as many ads under that budget and facebook will push out the one that's doing the best oh we just got an order exactly as we speak we literally just got an order <laughs> thank you chenille do you guys see like when you place an order with a small business that literally makes our day we are smiles like this big <laughs> so what i want to try and do i guess it's like a b testing in a way i want to put two different ads under the same budget and then i just want to see which one generates the most amount of clicks once i see that i'll put more of a budget towards that one and kind of go from there i'm very 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 new to this and i really want to try and test it out by myself before I like hire someone to come and do my ads for me because that becomes an expense and I just don't have a budget for that right now so I do have a budget for five dollars a day and learning it myself so that's what we're gonna try and do so this is kind of what my ad dashboard looks like at the moment and this is the ad so you can see how it's gonna look Facebook on Instagram on stories but now what i'm gonna do is make another ad and it's gonna be a video so something that i had no clue was a thing was that i could get CapCut on my computer to edit i use CapCut on my phone to edit all my tiktoks just like reels shorts all that quick stuff and i use final cut pro to edit my youtube videos and the longer stuff but i do like how easy it is to edit on CapCut. so i'm gonna see if i can edit this facebook ad on CapCut. so what i'm gonna do is just add 
a video that I already just posted on TikTok and just add it to CapCut. This is the power of reusing media. Okay, so here's the video. Yeah, as you guys know, this is the video that I filmed today and edited. So I'm gonna first and foremost remove the audio from this because I do not need that. And then I just want to add a text being like, Kav, you just ordered a guided journal saw from a random online brand or something like that. I don't know. Okay, literally it's that easy. Now that I've added this, you guys can see what the ad would look like over here. That's how it would look like on a Facebook. This is how it would look like on Instagram feed. This is how it would look like on Facebook video feed, Instagram explore feed, Instagram stories. So I'm really excited about this one and we're definitely gonna try this one out. I don't think the ad will obviously be active right now, but it'll probably get accepted or approved, fingers crossed, by tonight. I'm really, really excited to share this part of business with you guys because I've just never really done ads before. And I am still a firm believer that I don't think ads are necessary until they are necessary, if you know what I mean. Like if you're in your first year of starting business, I think there's so much potential. Like if you haven't even started a TikTok account, shorts, or like properly taken real seriously or posted on social media seriously, please do that first before you begin to think about ads. There's still so much that you can achieve from the organic world of just using TikTok. So ads are definitely not necessary. They are like a wonderful treat on top of whatever community and base you already have. It's an addition, but I don't think it's a necessary aspect to running a business when you first start. That just hits the spot. Matthew just came home from boxing and I made us dinner, but I forgot to film everything leading up to the dinner plus eating the dinner. But these are like leftover treats that we had from our party last night, so I just reheat them up. Matthew and I have been obsessed with a game called Sweep. It's a card game. Mm -hmm. Friend taught me it. I kid you not, she taught me it probably like beginning of December. And we've been playing this game every single day since then. Like, I'm telling you every single day. Not to mention. In a row. We saw my parents when uh, we went back to uh, see them for Christmas and they have been playing every, uh, we called them today and they were in the in middle. <laughs> And they were annoyed that we called them to interrupt their game of sweet. Also, like my family will have a deck of cards. Like literally, as you can see, we have several decks of cards on the table. When I call my family or FaceTime them and they're in the kitchen, I see a deck of cards on their table. It is a very addicting game. I'm not gonna explain it to you, but search up sweet tutorial on how to play. I'm telling you. Best card game there is. Best card game there is. It is so easy to play, so much fun. You can play with two people, you can play with five people. Yeah, it's really fun. So we're gonna play <laughs> several games this sweet. It's currently 10 o'clock and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm so tired. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any videos of mine and so we can become friends. And I'll see you again sometime soon. Don't forget to stay cool. Peace. Okay. My darling, I love you, I love you.